right, so I'm actually going to start my day just like any other day. I've got my morning cocktail right there, which is just my greens, my apple cider vinegar, and my L-carnitine. Um, it's always my pre-cardio uh, drink, or even if I'm not doing fasted cardio, I drink that before I eat anything. It just helps improve digestion throughout the day, improves fat breakdown, and the greens. You know, always got to get your greens in there, and just a healthy, good dietary supplement. So I'm going to drink that. I'm going to just walk on the treadmill for a little bit while I drink it, and then meal one's going down. Right, so good morning. It is about 4.30 in the morning. Getting a little fasted cardio in. Gonna start this epic cheat day. So, I wasn't planning on starting it this early in the morning, but I couldn't really sleep. Maybe I was just excited, I don't know. Uh, but, couldn't sleep. My stomach was growling. I woke up at about 4 in the morning, starving. So, I went to bed starving, to be honest with you. Now, I didn't cut anything out, I didn't try and prep myself for a huge cheat day. I ate my seven meals yesterday just like I would any other day. So, it's not like I tried to do a fast yesterday to make sure I was starving and had a huge appetite today. I always have a huge appetite. So, I ate my seven meals yesterday just like normal. Got my workouts in just like normal. So today, I'm getting my fasted cardio in just like normal. Drinking my uh, greens, apple cider vinegar, and L-carnitine. And uh, then I'll get me one in. So I'm not gonna do a ton of cardio because you'll see how long this lasts. But I told myself, since I'm doing all these calories, as long as the weather's good and the sun's up, not allowed to use my car today, which means I'm on a bike ride or walk. If I want Dunkin' Donuts, I gotta ride my bike or walk. If I want to go get Denny's, McDonald's, screw it, I don't really like McDonald's. If I want burgers, I'm gonna go to Five Guys. But you get the idea. I'm gonna try and burn just as many calories. That's pretty much impossible. I'm not gonna burn as many calories as I eat, especially if I get to like 20,000 calories. No way I'm burning that many. I'm gonna burn as many calories as possible during this cheat day. So, minimize the, the hurt. So, um, I weighed myself right before you know, the treadmill. I think it was 214 and a half or so. Um, which is pretty, pretty high still, but it is really early in the morning. I only got like three hours of sleep, so finish this cardio and then uh, meal one the, the cheat day begins so I'm excited <sighs> let's do this okay fasted cardio is done about to get that first meal in just wanted to give you a little physique update how I'm looking right now and Not too bad for uh, 215 pounds almost. I had uh, my weight cut off for classic division is 192. So might be having to move up to the 212 division after this or open bodybuilding. So. Here we go. Time to get fat. All right, it's time for meal one. All right, it is 5.08 in the morning on Sunday, <laughs> April Fools. Um, didn't think that one through whenever I decided to do this. Could have just decided not to do it and told everyone it was a joke. But that ain't me. I've been looking forward to this. So we got four whole eggs, four slices of uh, Pepperidge Farm Blueberry Swirl Toast with two servings of peanut butter, uh, natural Jif on there, 
uh, half a serving on each slice. And we're gonna have some of this. I let my wife pick out this cereal. It sounds really good, honey made s'mores. So kind of excited about that. I've got like three other boxes of cereal over there. Who knows how many I'll get to throughout the day. Now, just to start this off, I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'm not gonna shoot for a certain amount of calories. All right, I know I said, if you follow me on Instagram, I said 20,000 calories each day. I'm just gonna eat what I feel like eating. I'll, I'll calculate everything up and I'll show you the macros by the end of the day. But, you know, who knows how many calories I'll get. I have a crazy appetite, so it could well be 20,000 calories, but I'm not gonna make myself feel like crap just to hit 20,000 calories. So. Can I fit the whole box in there? Yeah. All right. That's the whole box. And that is, what, 20 servings. 120 calories so we'll see how that goes my peanut butter is sticking to my mouth by the way I'm not going to count liquid calories because I don't really drink much for liquid calories we got uh, you know Almond milk, 30 calories a cup, not a big deal. Not gonna drink like whole milk just to get calories in, because I spend the rest of the day in the bathroom. True, but uh, so I'm not gonna count liquid, liquid calories. I said I wasn't gonna count liquid calories. Liquid egg whites, that's calories. That's straight protein. So that's a whole other story. And you might think I'm weird for this, but I gotta get my protein in. I am a bodybuilder. And I actually like this. So you find a good cereal that really puts the flavor into your milk. I don't use milk. I always use my liquid egg whites. So I'm just gonna pour these straight over the cereal. Liquid egg whites really have no flavor by themselves. So they pretty much take on the flavor of whatever you put it on. And this was a brand new carton. And that's the whole carton. Which is 20 servings, 25 calories per serving. So, and all it is is five grams of protein per serving. Twenty-nine. It took twenty minutes. Whew. It was good though. It was delicious. So I'm gonna let that digest. Uh, I'm 
might just go back to bed, actually. Now that I actually have food in me, I might actually be able to sleep. Um, plus, nothing's really open yet anyways. It's only 5.30. The sun's still down, so when the sun comes up, like I said, if it's nice weather, you know, I'll use my car. That's what I tell myself. We'll see how long it lasts. But, uh, I'll probably ride my bike up to Denny's for some pancakes and an omelet. Um, Denny's is about four miles from here, so that'll be a nice little bike ride. And then after I eat, I gotta ride my bike back. And on the way back is Dunkin' Donuts, so I might stop in there. We'll see. But, like I said, I'm not shooting for an exact number on calories. I'm just gonna eat how I wanna eat, whatever I wanna eat. Uh, the only thing I do have planned is one of my followers on Instagram decided that I needed a ton of freaking cookies. So he sent me an entire huge, huge brown box full of all kinds of, got Oreos and Milano's and Pepperidge Farm cookies and whatever. So. I am gonna eat those because I can't have them sitting around the house as soon as I get back on my diet. So they got to go. So I'm gonna eat those at some point today. Maybe I'll get a freaking couple pints of ice cream and just break up the cookies in there or something like that. I don't know. But like I said, the lactose and the milk, that's why I didn't do milk. The ice cream is probably gonna be saved for the end of the day. <laughs> but, um, all right. I'll see you in a few. Okay, so quick change in plans. Uh, it is nasty weather outside. So, um, I am going to go get a quick pump in at the gym. And then drive over to Denny's and get some uh, pancakes and probably an omelet. So, wanted to ride my bike throughout the day, but I looked up the weather. It's supposed to be like nasty till 4 p.m., Although it is daylight savings, so it stays, the sun stays up pretty late, so maybe I'll still get a bike ride in to go to the gym for my second round and maybe wherever I want to eat. So I might still get some bike riding in. And I did go out and get my bike, ride, bike out of storage and got it all pump, tires pumped up, ready to go and everything. And it's just nasty. It's going to be outside. So, um... Get a, get a pump. I am going to have one scoop of uh, Isolize, which is only 120 calories because it's like the freaking like leanest, like best quality um, isolate protein you're going to get. There's like 27 and a half grams of protein per scoop, um, zero fat, less than one gram of sugar. So, I got one scoop of that mixed up. I'm going to have that as soon as I finish working out. And then go over and get some pancakes and stuff. So, we're about to uh, drive up to the gym and see if we can pump all those all those nutrients and carbs and stuff I ate earlier. By the way, it's, uh, it's almost 8.30. So, it's been almost three hours since I ate that first meal. So, I'm ready. I'm hungry again. So, let's do this. See how just gloomy and nasty it is? No sunshine, and they say it's gonna rain at any minute. Let's do this. You ever pull up and just want to rock out in the car for a minute before you go in? Carp's hitting hard.
So the original plan was to ride my bike. Since it's nasty weather, we get at least 20 minutes on this before I go get my next meal. Get a little good leg pump, burn some calories. And it's pancake time. took a lot longer than I thought and now it's almost 11 o'clock it's 10 50 so I just went to Denny's um, I was gonna eat it there and film it there but for two reasons one I forgot my tripod and two it was a madhouse in there I keep forgetting it's a holiday so it was insane in there kids screaming and freaking just packed and crazy I just couldn't deal with it so, got my order to go. I got uh, peanut butter cup pancakes. Yeah, that was new on the menu. Had to try it. Um, cranberry orange pancakes, another new one on the menu. Had to try them. And then a... Philly... Philly cheesesteak omelet with hash browns and an English muffin. So, I'm going to start off with one sweet, then get the savory, then back to the sweet. So, here we go. Which one? Which one, babe? Peanut butter cup or cranberry orange pancakes? Cranberry orange. That's cranberry orange, she says. That's where we're going. They look good. Yeah, I love fruity things, so these are spectacular because it's sweet, delicious, but it's like refreshing at the same time. So those were good, but they were almost too sweet. I got really much sweet. It's almost nauseating. But it's gone. <clears throat> so I'm gonna chill for a bit. It's eleven oh nine. gonna play a little PlayStation or uh, chill around whatever um, Ashley's taking her midterm or whatever on the computer or homework or something so um, we'll go back to the gym later I'm just gonna chill till I'm hungry again um, no plans might do a burger might go get a sub or a wrap no idea um, don't even want to think about it right now honestly that was too much sweet. I just want to relax, let this digest. And I'll see y'all in a few. Oh, that was honestly sickening the last few bites, babe. Oh. Like, oh. 
I legit I feel sick after that. It actually turned out to be a completely gorgeous day. So I'm finally taking a bike ride. I'm not sure where I'm gonna go. Might go to uh, Subway, grab one of those wraps. Might go to, uh, I don't know. We'll just see what I pass. But I needed to get this exercise in because after those pancakes, I straight passed out. Comatose and woke up a couple hours later. I ate a couple pop tarts and uh, I need this bike ride so let's see where it takes us all right just got back from that bike ride it was actually a really nice bike ride I'm probably gonna go for another bike ride just for the fun of it after I finish eating this but what I ended up getting I got a foot long club and I got a gotta have my salt and vinegar potato chips and then I got the steak Chipotle steak and cheese wrap, which actually looks really good. And I just I haven't had a cold cut sandwich in so long, so that I just you know, like I said, just gonna eat what I want to eat, whenever whatever I'm hungry for. So I'm gonna enjoy this and then probably go for another bike ride because it's such a beautiful day, and that was actually really enjoyable. Ooh. All right, so let's go with the wrap first. I know I'm gonna enjoy that cold cut sandwich. And it'll be a little more refreshing before going out on another bike ride. Mmm. That's really good too though. That was a nice change. Uh, after all the sweet junk I've eaten this morning, that was a nice way to switch things up. Nice ref refreshing sandwiches, some nice uh, salty and vinegary chips. That was uh, much better than all that sugary junk because that stuff put a hurting on me. So it is 3.30 now. So, the next thing I eat will probably be pre-workout. Probably not going to eat a ton for pre-workout because I don't want to go in there all bloated and ugh, burping up like I am right now. So, um, we'll see what I decide to eat. Probably just some cookies or something. Get a good cookie pump in the gym. And then I want burgers afterwards. So, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I work up another good appetite, but uh, we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> All right, it is 
finally pre-workout time. So, cookie pumps today. Um, got regular Oreos, got some Peeps Oreos, which I've never tasted a Peep before. So, uh, kind of curious what that's going to taste like. And I've never tasted a Snowball before, so um, I'm interested in that. I don't know if I'm going to like it or not, so I don't know if I'm going to eat all of these, but... I'm gonna at least try one or two. Um, my wife was shocked that I had never tasted one before, so I had to get some on my day that I'm allowed to eat anything. Uh, we'll see what they taste like. It says they're coated in coconut. I've never really been a fan of coconut, so let's just get that one out of the way and see what it tastes like. I do like chocolate and marshmallow, so it's a uh, Fuzzy. Hmm. Hmm. I don't even know. It's not bad. Hmm. Not bad. Not something I would waste calories on. Sorry, babe. Um, if I was going to get it like some kind of hostess snack cakes or something, my personal preference would be like Swiss rolls, Swiss cake rolls, or um, fudge rounds. Shoot. Honey buns. That's my that's my Swiss cake rolls and honey buns. Those are my two go to if I was gonna get some kind of little uh, cake treat like this or something like that. Um, but these aren't bad. So I'll eat one more since I already got it out of the box. But I'm probably not gonna eat the rest of the box. Yeah, didn't eat a ton of cookies because like I said, I don't want to be all bloated and feeling like crap during my workout. So, I'm just going to add a scoop of protein to that to not only will it help uh, control the spike of insulin from all that sugar, but with the workout, you want some protein in your system. So... <clears throat> Gonna get one one scoop of protein to go along with all those cookies. Let this digest for a minute, and then we're gonna head to the gym.
Another 20 minutes, 20 minutes on the bike after the second workout. And then we go in to get burgers. Burger time. All right, just got home from the gym. Went to Five Guys. We got two double bacon burgers with grilled mushrooms, grilled onions. One has barbecue sauce, one has ketchup and mustard. Got a fry, uh, just a small fry, but you know how they fill up the entire bag. I ate half of them on the way home. And then this is leftover Giordano's from Chicago from last weekend. Uh, two slices of the Mighty Meaty uh, deep dish and like four slices of the thin crust barbecue chicken and if I can get it down we got this mini carrot cake tort that I picked up at Walmart just because I love carrot cake and it looked delicious and I was hungry when I was shopping which is dangerous so uh, I'm gonna get started on this I don't know if I'll be able to finish all this all right now honestly might have to do this in two sittings but we're gonna get started right now
Whew. All right, so I got the burgers, the fries, and the deep dish down. I'm not even going to try for the thin crust barbecue right now. I know it's just going to make me feel like crap. You hear that squeaking in the background. My wife's doing, <laughs> doing her cardio on the stair stepper. And it's our stair stepper is a little cheap thing from Walmart. So it squeaks a lot. So just ignore that. <laughs> but I'm going to give that a minute to digest, settle. Then... I'm honestly probably not going to touch that tonight, but I will take the carrot cake down and maybe some more cookies. Um, so, that's it for now. It is 9.20, so I don't have much more time before going to bed. I'm not going to eat much more food. Like I said, I'll have uh, the dessert, maybe a couple cookies. That's probably going to be all she wrote. So... I'm going to let this digest, and we'll see what I get in before bed. Is that peanut butter on the Alright, I am very full, but I got all these cookies laying here and stuff like that, so I'm going to try and get some of, some of this crap down. Um, and my wife is two weeks out from the Europa Orlando. So she's living vicariously through me, and she bought, bought these M&M eggs with peanut butter inside, so she said I have to eat them, so let's see how they are. It tastes like little Reese's Pieces, basically. Mm. And I was shopping the other day, getting asparagus and chicken. And I couldn't help. I was hungry. Get this white chocolate Twix. I love Twix. It's probably one of my favorite candy bars. I'm not a big candy person. But if I get a candy, I love the Twix. So I had to try this white chocolate one. Another one of those that the the OG is best. I'll stick with the original. Alright guys, it's 11.30, I just got out of the shower, I feel fat as hell, <laughs> bloated and everything like that, I was about to go to bed and I was like, I gotta try that cheese, that uh, carrot cake tort though, and I just took one bite, and I don't know if I can stop actually, it's, it's probably the best thing I've eaten all day, to be honest, it's freaking delicious, mmm. So, I'm going to finish this off. It's the last thing I'm going to eat. I did not eat, end up eating those uh, those chocolate brownie uh, Milano's. But this will be the last thing I eat. I'll calculate all the ca macros though for you. Put it up. Also, this is like the same mixture I had first thing in the morning with the apple cider vinegar um, and the L-carnitine. And whatnot. I don't. I don't. Don't put the greens in at night because the greens have a lot of uh, green coffee bean extract and stuff like that. Natural caffeine. I don't want to drink that right before bed. So I'm gonna finish this. Last thing I eat, 
and uh, calculate macros for you and the total calories, which I think is just close to 15,000. Uh, so, um, and then I'll show you my weight in the morning and see how fat I actually got. So, and I'm not gonna get much sleep because it's already 11.30 and I gotta be at work at 7 a.m. So, all right. So it's the morning after all that food. I felt like crap. I'm not gonna lie. Not something I recommend it do. Cheat meal, but not a cheat day. So there's the physique. Definitely lost a little bit of definition, a little bit of lines, but you know, it's probably because I'm just bloated as hell. Overall, not too bad though. Um Weight though went up to over 222, which by the way is the heaviest I've ever been in my life. So, pretty, uh, pretty insane. Um, I also slept through my alarm. <laughs> I was so comatose, so I'm late for work now. So, sorry I can't make a longer video, but hope you enjoyed everything. And I'll make an update video after being back on my diet all week long. To show you how my physique changes after eating all that meal, crazy amount of calories and then going right back straight to my normal diet.